this Tucker guy. Hi, Tucker. All right, we ran into town. Another little video tidbit. Downtown Princeton. Heidi's checking on a pigeon that she reported that was stuck in the window. We got a gallon of gas. We were at the gas station over here, the Amico. Right next door, connected. I saw a big pot leaf. So I go in there. I said, is this a wreck shop? All right, I'll pick it up in a minute. So yeah. Oh my okay, God. I'll fine. fill you in later on that. That was crazy. All right, we got to finish mowing the lawn and we got a Cubs game. At nooner. Go Bears. All right, quick update. Saturday, June 24th. Just talked to Kevin, Missy, and their dog, Sarah. Just mowed the lawn here. Made a trip to Ace, the deer. And, oh God, take a shower here in a bit so I can watch the Cubs game on OTA. Put up one of the spare monitors up here. Get over the air TV, there's a antenna on there, window. So, watching some horse racing right now on Kentucky Derby. 50th Kentucky Derby, that is freaking awesome. So cleaned up the garage a bunch. And let's see, cheap ass tool chest from Walmart. I should have got the Cobalt from Home Depot for 50 bucks more. This thing's, I don't know, it's been awesome. I should have spent the extra money. Let's see, Frankie's gonna come with his tractor and get this non-working dishwasher and scrap it. He's going to give his buddy the operational washer here. I think he gave the other, our dryer that works to his buddy too. So hanging out, let's see what's new. Put some cool stickers. Put a Cartman sticker on the mower here. Got it at the smoke shop. Went and got a gas can. Cartman from South Park. So we go to Ace this morning, Heidi and I. Oh, everybody's so goddamn friendly. And got some free stickers. Just getting a gal and a gas across the street after we got the gas can from Ace. There's a Cherokee Na National Forest Explorer. So I go in, it says smoke shop. I see this huge pot leaf on it next to the gas station connected. So I told Heidi, I'm gonna run in, see what's up. So I go in there, there's this old hippie with a cowboy hat on. I was like, is this a wreck shop? I was like, I looked at weed maps and it said the nearest one was Ottawa. And he said, yeah. It's like, why the hell aren't you on weed maps? How long have you been here? Not long enough, three years. Holy crap, this guy was crazy. Needs his own Netflix series or documentary. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back in there just for the heck of it. Gave me a free gummy, a Jerry Cherry Garcia gummy. And there was also a sign on the door for mushrooms. So I'm like, you sell mushrooms here? He's like, yeah, we got candy bars too. I was like, holy hell. So that was interesting. He gave me the free gummy and these stickers. He said he usually has like 10,000 stickers in there, but he has to order some more. So I'll go in there. He gave me some free and the gummy. He's telling me how he holds up this pound of weed, at least a pound. Oh my God, you should have seen these buds. Flower. Oh my God, I was, I couldn't believe it. So anyway, that's a quick update. I'm gonna hit the rain locker, maybe wash off the lawnmower. Watch some horse racing and get ready for the Cubs game. Let's go Bears. And we'll pick it up and skip the video yesterday. I'll include the very beginning, I think was from last night. So we'll make a few more here and upload a video later so happy saturday from the farm this is what you're missing out on this is what it's like
Country Living had a great powwow with Nick here this morning. Hi to his son, Chris. Gonna meet him one day here. Kendra's home. She's a cop. She's a deputy. She's a sergeant. She's fucking cool. And I'm glad to have her as a neighbor. And from standing here, when she goes to work, I can just talk to her like this. Have a good night. Have a safe night. And everybody else, they walk their dogs morning and at night, almost most of them. So we get to see them, their dogs. Get a quick powwow two times a day. Male lady was here, Joy. She's fucking cool too. She's a dead ringer to my twin sister. So that's it. Let's get her done. Get ourselves a curious right. Cause that's how we do it. And go Huskers. We'll be back for just more shit on video, whatever's going on. We're gonna find out and document it. Thanks for watching. All right, what the hell? Got out of the rain locker now that I'm all fresh and flowery. Do a little update, got some more recycling. I need to move that Unistrut to the barn. Mower's out here so I can wash it off. Keep her all fresh since it's brand new. And to make room for Frankie so he can come and get this washer and dryer later. Put up a fan up here, right above the door. Can angle it. Boy, that little booger does wonders. I'm gonna have to get a box fan from Walmart and we're gonna have to go to Walmart. We need a TV antenna that's powered. I can't get the Cubs game in here. It's on in the living room, but that's an amplified over the air TV antenna. So let's see. Got the fan in this power strip, which I'm powering USB to power this Bluetooth speaker, charge up the earbuds, which I listen to. I'm on the yard, move the ladder. I kept getting it down. It was up there by that downspout right below it. Jesus, that was a bitch. So I said, hey, stupid, why don't you just lean it up behind the door? So that's working. We'll get this shit out of here. And what do we got here? This is our little treasure from uh, Sweet Ray. She got it at a garage sale. She said it didn't do it for her. It was too short for whatever she needed. It's from a ham radio receiver. Google it. Looking to get creative, make some shit in here. We can sell it uh, retail space downtown. Maybe with some of that walnut. But yeah, it's logoed both sides. I told Heidi I got a crazy frickin' idea. I got some of this plexiglass I got from the wheelchair store. I got like four pieces, fits perfect. So imagine this, if you will. This thing, maybe get some legs or something, put some casters on it, I don't know. Coffee table, think coffee table. So this thing, with a piece of the plexiglass maybe halfway down here with these radio tubes over here I'll show you in a second so mounted up level and then another clear one on top like this I got enough for this whole thing perfectly it's a damn miracle from that wheelchair store freebie lit up with LED lights underneath so to light up these beautiful tubes so keep imagining, I gotta clean them up, they're a little dirty. I got a huge collection. I got some really big ones. Here's some Sylvania RCA, lots of Motorola's. That light's from my grandpa, Bruno Delay's barn in Southern Illinois. Kelly Park, shout out to McCook, Nebraska. Panel collection, these are brand new unused. Well, this Cayo Cyril was my, uh, one of my office workbenches in the shack. This one's old vintage, old panel 
technology and design. Scott, no CPU in zero CPU. Got that for me off of a horse tooth mountain west of Fort Collins. They just chucked the thing over the frickin' uh, cliff. So I got boxes and boxes full of these radio tubes that I can do all kinds of cool shit. This piece, I'm keeping. It's the first piece made in the shop here. It's still messy. It's Alpha Fox truck, but whatever. We're getting it refined. Heidi can fit her car in here. My truck, ooh, that's a tight squeeze. I'm gonna have to do the tennis ball off the ceiling. Yesterday got, I wish I could be watching the Cubs in here. This is the old uh, TV from the Arctic Fox that Jen and Roger lived in for a freaking year. It's some brand I've never heard of, but whatever, it works. So that's a quick update. Oh, I'll have to do one on the downstairs bathroom. That thing is phenomenal. Grazers, you guys are flipping awesome. And I'll show you that later. Heidi and I went to Walmart last night and got a shower curtain and stuff like that. And it's working as intended. I dropped the big fat deuce in that oversized tall Kohler commode. And it was the Bombay. So that's it. Still doing crap in here. And yeah, we'll pick it up later and we'll spit this video out and hopefully you like it and this is what we're doing all something to do and enjoying every minute of it here and we're going to the uh smash up derby here next month at the fairgrounds that's gonna be freaking awesome all right stay tuned and there definitely will be a video of that all right what exactly is the situation here Back from Jeepers Creepers at the silo. Shannon Gray went to Pico. <laughs> okay. I got ducked at the silo. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, they all got their cards on it? Not all of them. Some you gonna do something like that? I don't know. You still got the yellow cheap travel bugs? Yes. Where the fuck are those at? I didn't want to leave it on the dash. Okay, F bomb. I didn't want to leave it on Jeep the dash. Jam. Oh, right. Okay, sweet ride. Twin City Jeepers. Okay. Damn, so how many do they have out there? Lots. Jeepers, creepers. Just like Wasso Jeepers, weed. Jeepers, creepers. Okay, quick update. Was it, they had some bands playing? Yeah. Cold beers? Uh huh. Take ass. <laughs> yeah, we got lots of shit down here. I don't want yeah. to blow away. So. In the compartment. Yeah. Okay, right on. Jeepers Creepers 2023 Psycho Silo with Jen. Okay, quick update for today's vlog. We're down at the lovely downtown pub. Checking out the situation here. I think I'm going to do the bacon cheeseburger American cheese. It comes with french fries. There's absolutely nobody down here. They got Shakespeare in the park down this way tonight. That'd be cool. Let's see. Sounds like we got a medical chopper possibly coming. Incoming, Charlie. What the hell is that? Is that a scooter? Oh, check it out. I'm doing a YouTube video. Check out Shutter Mafia. He does one a day. Oh, cool. It's here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. And cut. We're gonna order. All right. Might be the might be the last video of the day. I'm gonna slap something together. 
put up some more stuff, whatever. If you're from Monument Valley, Clark W. Dick Griswold, National Lampoon's Vacation, Heidi parked in here. We just went to Walmart, got some shit, put up one of these fly strips. I got one stinking fly. Dishwasher, still here, got a new OTA at Walmart in the window. We'll try it out, watching some Reed Temmer on the Storm Chasers. Here's another look at the black walnuts. Heidi's tending to the D0G. Rinsed off the deer. God, we got more goddamn cardboard recycling. So getting ready to stencil. Got a crazy idea. Uh, we got all these yellow walls. I'm like, we got a John Deere. I'm gonna make a damn stencil and stencil it in here. I might put one on a t shirt. They say you need the uh, t shirt grade paint, but whatever. I'm gonna take a wife beater and spray paint a freaking John Deere cheap ass redneck. Uh, T-shirt. I think Heidi's hiding the wife beaters from me. I told her I was going to sport them around. She's like, got scared. I think I'll give her a bad reputation or something. Oh, here's one thing I wanted to show you earlier. This damn thing. This threshold here. It's like four god dang inches. It's at least three inches. So it's like bump, Heidi hits it. She's got a floorboard to get over the bump. Oh, damn it, there's a piece of wood in here. So I laid down this piece of wood for the mower because the mower like scraped on there. I'm like, well, that's no good. So I put this two by whatever. They're fake dimensions anyway, so it don't matter. Laid that down here, man, it was smooth. We were at the Home Depot. I'm like, I'm gonna get a couple pressure treated two buys. And I saw these, which are the fake deck boards that will never rot. I don't know how long they are six foot, eight foot. Then I put a couple pieces of Unistrut I got laying around here, the big ones, the thick ones like Janet Jackson. Holy fuck. Like a glove. Heidi loves her. She don't even feel it driving in here. 15 bucks a piece. The Unistrut was free. Thanks, Lockheed Martin. Contractors. That solved the problem better than I even imagined. So we got a fresh cut on the lawn. Thanks to the deer. We'll look at the back acre. Not bad, it's drying up. Yesterday at 5 p.m., this area went into severe drought mode. That's according to the National Weather Service in uh, Tri-City, whatever they call it, Quad City. I don't even know what city it is. But that's it, I'm gonna cut out this stencil and we're gonna bust open this can of spray paint. Put up a couple. Might do one there. I don't know. Hopefully I don't get too out of control here. Less is more. All right, we'll see what up. I gotta put this video together later anyway. Just chilling in the garage and ate out. Oh, you'll, you've probably already seen that part of the video where we ate lunch downtown. It was awesome. I swear to God, everybody in this town has an Apple Watch. Heidi wasn't paying attention. I told her, and then this nice, sweet waitress named Mary at the pub was wearing one. I said, what's up with that? Everybody in this town has one. And she said, my husband let me wear his once and I never gave it back. I'm like, God damn. Heidi says I can get one for my birthday on Monday. She's gonna get me one. Yeah. I just gotta talk to her 
TikToker gonna get me a golf cart. And that's putting it easy. Maybe get something for a grand or two. Gasser only. What else was I gonna say? God, keep forgetting. Oh, we were eating lunch on the sidewalk down there. I'll try to whip this around. A couple of Russian dudes walking up and down the sidewalk. We noticed them. They came and went a few times. Thought nothing of it. I told Heidi I was gonna say uh, berserker. She said, what's that mean? I said, it means crazy, loco, in espanol. Uh, how about Pico espanol? Love espanol. Then we noticed this street. Man, it was like a street walker, sex worker. Heidi said, we saw her. She was totally out of place. Cute gal. I don't know. She looked Hispanic. Could be South American country I don't know she was walking around aimlessly up and down the sidewalk oh yeah high heels younger not like a methed out uh, prostitute you'd see in larger areas and then we made these two girls walking on the sidewalk turn she walked past him they turned around and laughed it was so out of place and then Heidi had a theory. She said, I wonder if these two Russian dudes are pimping her out. I was like, wow, that's interesting. So anyway, we're gonna ask around. I'm gonna ask uh, Kendra over here if she knows anything about that. She said the gypsies hang out by Walmart. So I don't know, I'm gonna run this, our theory by her. All right, I'm gonna bust out this stencil can of spray paint. I think that uh, Cherry Garcia might be kicking in. We'll see what happens here. God bless America. Small Town Life 360. And we got ourselves another video. Thanks for watching. Life in Small Town. And we got some cool shit going on tomorrow. So whatever it is. We'll be, uh, we'll have another video, 73, which is kind regards in shorthand for ham radio in Morse code. They would do Morse code and say 73. Yeah, shorthand. Uh, it's freaking awesome. All right, thanks again. All right, in action. This may be the last video of the day. First uh, test, rough, ghetto, John Deere stencil. I'm going to have to get some thinner material from like, uh, I don't know, whatever. I'll try it again. This was just for the hell of it. John Deere cardboard stencil just for the hell of it. I did thought it was pretty cool except for the antlers, which were pretty weak but whatever it was fun though I might hide a couple more around here we got a lot of piss yellow John Deere yellow well I know they call it John Deere green I don't know about the yellow I just call it piss yellow that's the movie uh, from the movie Porky's God I grew up on those cheesy movies I can't believe my parents let me watch that crap so that's it let me turn it around here and we'll call it a night, even though it's still early. Forgot to mention I'm sporting my uh, Kanab Cowboys t-shirt. If anybody knows where that came from, Heidi got it for me. Gift, Clark, from Kanab, Utah. from the movie Napoleon Dynamite. One of Napoleon's buddies was wearing one. She went to that hole in the rock store or something there. I've been through there. That was a trip I was not on though. She got it for me. I was like, that's fucking cool. Thank you very much. 
thought I'd sport it today. I never really wore this in Loveland. It's very suiting out here though. So that's it. God bless America. And everybody. And we'll see what else is going on here. Thanks again for watching. Shutter Mafia. Vlog about small town America at the moment. So please subscribe and I don't even know what we got going on tomorrow, but there's something going on. So come back and see what happens. 73 again.